Did you know that Roadhouse was criticized for its gratuitous violence? But this legendary movie's cast made it work. Where are they now? Some have passed away under unexpected circumstances, while others have just barely gotten by. Here's a look at the cast of Roadhouse 35 years later, exploring Roadhouse, a cult classic. Roadhouse is a 1989 action drama film that has achieved cult status over the years. It's a story of revenge and redemption. The main character, James Dalton, is a professional cooler or bouncer hired to clean up a rough bar in a small town. The storyline follows Dalton's journey as he confronts local crime boss Brad Wesley, who terrorizes the people of the town. Seeking revenge is evident as Dalton seeks justice for his friend's murder. Yet the film also portrays his journey towards redemption as he confronts his violent past and strives to bring peace to the community. Roadhouse has secured its place as a cult classic, appreciated for its over-the-top action sequences and quintessential 80s appeal. The film embraces and sometimes parodies action movie tropes, from bar brawls to heroic one-liners, cementing its status in the genre. The movie's legacy extends to pop culture, influencing subsequent action films and inspiring references in TV shows, music, and other media. Its unique blend of action, drama, and occasional humor continues to resonate with fans, ensuring its enduring popularity. Patrick Swayze as James Dalton Patrick Swayze, born on August 18, 1952, in Houston, Texas, was a multifaceted talent whose career spanned acting, dancing, and singing. From a young age, Swayze was immersed in the world of performing arts thanks to his mother, Patsy Swayze, a renowned choreographer. He trained in ballet, ice skating, and martial arts, which laid a strong foundation for his future in entertainment. Swayze's early career saw him performing in theater productions and small television roles. His breakthrough came with the 1983 film The Outsiders, but it was his role as Johnny Castle in Dirty Dancing. 1987 that catapulted him to stardom. His charisma, dancing skills, and on-screen presence made him a household name. In 1989, Swayze took on the role of James Dalton in the film Roadhouse. Dalton, a professional cooler, bouncer, with a mysterious past, became one of Swayze's most iconic characters. The film showcased his physical skills and ability to portray complex characters, blending action with a touch of philosophy. Dalton's calm demeanor and martial arts skills made him a memorable figure in the action genre. Off-screen, Swayze's life was marked by both triumphs and challenges. He married Lisa Nemi, his childhood sweetheart, in 1975, and their relationship remained strong until his passing. Swayze's personal life was characterized by his love for horses, music, and flying. He was also known for his resilience, particularly during his battle with pancreatic cancer. After Roadhouse, Swayze continued to enjoy a successful career in Hollywood. He starred in a variety of films, including Ghost, 1990, Point Break, 1991, and To Wong Fu, Thanks for Everything, Julie Newmar. 1995. His versatility as an actor allowed him to take on diverse roles from romantic leads to action heroes. Swayze's career extended beyond acting. He was also a talented singer and songwriter. His song, She's Like the Wind, which he co-wrote and performed for the Dirty Dancing soundtrack, became a hit. His passion for performing arts was evident in every aspect of his career. Despite his diagnosis of pancreatic cancer in 2008, Swayze continued to work, starring in the television series The Beast in 2009. His determination and positive attitude during his illness were widely admired. Patrick Swayze passed away on September 14, 2009, at the age of 57, leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances and a spirit of perseverance. Kelly Lynch as Dr. Elizabeth Clay. 
Kelly Lynch, born on January 31, 1959, in Golden Valley, Minnesota, has had an illustrious career in the entertainment industry. From a young age, Lynch showed an interest in the arts, particularly in acting and modeling. She pursued her passion by studying at the Guthrie Theater in Minneapolis, which laid the groundwork for her future in Hollywood. Lynch's journey into acting began with small roles in television and film. Her breakthrough came with the 1988 film Cocktail, where she starred alongside Tom Cruise. This role opened doors for her in Hollywood, showcasing her talent and earning her recognition. However, it was her role as Dr. Elizabeth Clay in the 1989 film Roadhouse that solidified her status as a prominent actress. Set in Roadhouse, Lynch played the role of Dr. Elizabeth Clay, a smart and resilient physician who becomes the love interest of Patrick Swayze's character, James Dalton. Her portrayal of Dr. Clay was both strong and compassionate, adding depth to the action-packed film. This role allowed Lynch to display her versatility as an actress, balancing the film's intense scenes with moments of tenderness and care. After Roadhouse, Lynch's career continued to flourish. She took on a variety of roles in both film and television, showcasing her range as an actress. Some of her notable works include Drugstore Cowboy, 1989, for which she received critical acclaim, and The Beans of Egypt, Maine, 1994. Her ability to immerse herself in diverse characters made her a sought-after talent in the industry. Lynch's personal life has been marked by her long-term marriage to producer and writer Mitch Glazer. The couple married in 1992 and have been together ever since, often collaborating on various projects. Their partnership extends beyond their personal lives, with both sharing a deep passion for the arts and creativity. In addition to her acting career, Lynch has also ventured into other areas of the entertainment industry. She has worked as a producer and has been involved in various philanthropic efforts. Her dedication to her craft and her contributions to the industry have earned her respect and admiration from peers and fans alike. Today, Kelly Lynch is 65 and she continues to be active in the entertainment industry, taking on new roles and projects. She remains a prominent figure, known for her talent, dedication, and versatility. Sam Elliott as Wade Garrett Sam Elliott, born on August 9, 1944, in Sacramento, California, has become one of the most recognizable faces and voices in Hollywood. His distinctive deep voice and rugged good looks have made him a staple in westerns and action films. Elliott's early life was marked by a strong connection to the American West, which would later influence his acting career. Elliott moved to Portland, Oregon during his teenage years, where he developed an interest in acting. He attended Clark College in Vancouver, Washington, where he performed in stage productions. After college, Elliott moved to Los Angeles to pursue his acting dreams, taking on various odd jobs while attending acting classes. His persistence paid off when he landed small roles in television series such as Felony Squad, Gunsmoke, and Lancer. Elliot's big break came with his role in the 1976 film Lifeguard, which showcased his leading man potential. However, it was his role as Wade Garrett in the 1989 film Roadhouse that solidified his status as a Hollywood icon. In Roadhouse, Elliot played Wade Garrett, a seasoned and wise bouncer who mentors Patrick Swayze's character, James Dalton. His portrayal of Garrett was a perfect blend of toughness and wisdom, earning him acclaim and a dedicated fan base. Elliot's career flourished after Roadhouse with notable roles in films like Tombstone, 1993, The Big Lebowski, 1998, and We Were Soldiers, 2002. His versatility as an actor allowed him to take on a wide range of characters, from cowboys to military leaders. Elliot has been married to actress Catherine Ross since 1984. The couple has one daughter, Cleo Rose Elliot, who is a musician. Elliot and Ross have worked together on several projects, including the film The Legacy, 1978. 
Elliott's career has spanned over five decades, and he continues to be a prominent figure in Hollywood. In recent years, he received critical acclaim for his role in the 2018 film A Star is Born, which earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. His distinctive voice has also made him a sought-after narrator for documentaries and commercials. Today, Sam Elliott is 80, and he remains active in the entertainment industry, taking on new roles and projects. His journey from Sacramento to Hollywood is a testament to his hard work, dedication, and passion for acting. Ben Gazzara as Brad Wesley. Ben Gazzara, born Biagio. Anthony Gazzara, on August 28, 1930, in New York City, was an actor of immense talent and versatility. Growing up in the tough streets of the Lower East Side, Gazzara found solace in the arts, particularly in acting. He attended the prestigious Stuyvesant High School and later studied engineering at the City College of New York before his passion for acting led him to the Actors Studio, where he trained under the legendary Lee Strasberg. Gazzara's early career was marked by his stage work, most notably in the original Broadway production of Cat on a Hot Tin Roof in 1955, where he played Brick Pollitt. His powerful performance caught the attention of Hollywood, leading to his transition into film and television. Gazzara's film debut came in 1957 with The Strange One, and he quickly established himself as a formidable actor with roles in Anatomy of a Murder, 1959, and The Young Doctors, 1961. In 1989, Gazzara took on the role of Brad Wesley in Roadhouse, a character that would become one of his most iconic. As the ruthless and corrupt businessman who terrorizes the small town, Gazzara brought a chilling intensity to the role, making Wesley a memorable villain. His performance was a perfect counterbalance to Patrick Swayze's hero, adding depth and tension to the film. After Roadhouse, Gazzara continued to work in both mainstream and independent films, collaborating frequently with director John Cassavetes in films like Husbands, 1970, The Killing of a Chinese Bookie, 1976, and Opening Night, 1977. Gazzara's personal life was as colorful as his career. He was married three times and had one daughter, Elizabeth, from his second marriage to actress Janice Rule. His third marriage to German model Elke Krivat lasted until his death. In his later years, Gazzara continued to act, taking on roles in films like The Big Lebowski, 1998, and Dogville, 2003. His work in television also earned him critical acclaim, including an Emmy Award for his role in the miniseries Hysterical Blindness, 2002. Despite battling health issues, Gazzara remained active in the industry until his passing on February 3, 2012, from pancreatic cancer. Marshall R. Teague as Jimmy as Marshall Teague. Marshall R. Teague, born on April 16, 1953, in Newport, Tennessee, is an American actor known for his versatile roles in both film and television. Growing up in the rural South, Teague developed a strong work ethic and a love for storytelling. His early life was marked by a stint in the U.S. Navy, where he worked on his discipline and resilience. After his military service, Teague decided to pursue his passion for acting, moving to Los Angeles to chase his dreams. Teague's entry into the acting world was not immediate. He took on various jobs to support himself while attending acting classes and auditions. His persistence paid off when he landed his first role in the late 1970s. Over the years, Teague built a reputation for his intense and compelling performances, often portraying tough and complex characters. His big break came with his role as Jimmy in the 1989 film Roadhouse, where he played the menacing henchman of the main antagonist, Brad Wesley. Teague's portrayal of Jimmy showcased his ability to bring a raw and physical energy to his roles, making him a memorable part of the film's cast. After Roadhouse, Teague continued to work steadily in the industry, appearing in popular TV shows like Walker, Texas Ranger, Babylon 5, and Star Trek Deep Space Nine. 
His versatility allowed him to take on a wide range of characters, from villains to heroes, showcasing his depth as an actor. Teague is married to his wife, Lindy, and the couple has enjoyed a long and supportive relationship. Teague is also known for his philanthropic efforts, often participating in charity events and supporting causes close to his heart. His military background has instilled in him a sense of duty and community, which he carries into his personal and professional life. Teague is now 71, and he continues to act, taking on roles in both independent films and major productions. His dedication to his craft and his ability to adapt to different genres have kept him relevant in the ever-changing landscape of Hollywood. Julie Michaels as Denise Julie Michaels, born on July 20, 1970, in Northwest Washington, D.C., is a multi-talented actress and stunt performer who has made a significant mark in Hollywood. From an early age, Michaels showed a flair for the dramatic arts, participating in various school plays and local theater productions. Her passion for performance was complemented by her athleticism as she trained in gymnastics and martial arts, which would later prove invaluable in her acting career. Michael's journey into acting began with her pursuit of higher education at the University of Washington, where she studied under the tutelage of renowned acting coach Roy London. Her dedication and talent quickly caught the attention of industry professionals, leading to her first major break in the film industry. In 1989, she landed the role of Denise in the cult classic Roadhouse, starring alongside Patrick Swayze. Her performance as the seductive and dangerous Denise showcased her ability to blend acting with physical skills, making her a standout in the film. After Roadhouse, she continued to build a diverse portfolio, taking on roles in both television and film. Michaels became particularly well-known for her work as a stunt performer, a field where she could leverage her martial arts training and athletic background. She performed stunts in notable films such as Point Break and Batman and Robin, earning a reputation as one of the top stunt women in the industry. Michael's personal life is as dynamic as her professional career. She is married to stunt coordinator Pee Wee Pimonte, and the couple often collaborates on various projects. Michaels is also dedicated to mentoring young actors and stunt performers, sharing her knowledge and experience to help them navigate the challenges of the industry. Julie Michaels is 54 now and has continued to thrive in Hollywood, balancing her work in front of the camera with her contributions behind the scenes. She has appeared in popular TV shows such as The Big Bang Theory and How to Get Away with Murder, showcasing her range as an actress. Additionally, her work as a stunt coordinator has earned her several accolades, including Emmy nominations. Red West as Red Webster. Red West, born Robert Jean West on March 8, 1936, in Memphis, Tennessee, led a fascinating life that spanned several careers, from being a close confidant of Elvis Presley to a notable actor and stuntman. Raised in a working-class family, West's early life was marked by his athletic skills, particularly in football, which earned him a scholarship to Jones County Junior College. However, his path soon veered towards entertainment, largely due to his friendship with Elvis Presley, whom he met in high school. West's entry into the entertainment industry began with his role as a bodyguard to Elvis. This relationship opened doors for him in Hollywood, where he initially worked as a stuntman before transitioning into acting. His rugged looks and undeniable screen presence made him a natural fit for many roles. Red West's journey into acting was unconventional, but deeply rooted in his loyalty and friendship with Elvis, which helped him build connections in the industry. In 1989, West took on the role of Red Webster in the cult classic Roadhouse. His portrayal of the amiable auto parts store owner added a layer of authenticity to the film, resonating with audiences and showcasing his acting skills. The character of Red Webster was a departure from his usual tough guy roles, allowing him to display a more nuanced performance. Following his success in Roadhouse, West continued to work in film and television, taking on a variety of roles that highlighted his versatility. 
He appeared in films like Goodbye Solo and Glory Road and TV shows such as The A-Team and Magnum P.I. West was married to his wife, Pat West, for over 50 years and the couple had two children. In his later years, Red West continued to act, but he also focused on his passion for songwriting, writing several songs that were recorded by Elvis and other artists. Red West passed away on July 18, 2017, aged 81 from an aortic aneurysm at Baptist Memorial Hospital in his native Memphis. His death occurred less than two months after the death of his cousin, actor Sonny West, in May 2017. His funeral and burial at Memorial Park Cemetery was held on July 24 in Memphis. Sunshine Parker as Emmett as Sunshine Parker. Sunshine Parker, born Lloyd Olin Parker on June 10, 1927, in Lawn, Texas, was an actor whose career spanned several decades and included memorable roles in both film and television. Raised in a small town, Parker's early life was marked by the simplicity and hard work typical of rural America. His nickname, Sunshine, reflected his cheerful disposition and became the moniker by which he was widely known in the entertainment industry. Parker's journey into acting began later in life compared to many of his peers. Initially, he worked in various odd jobs, including as a ranch hand and a truck driver, which provided him with a wealth of life experiences that he would later draw upon in his acting career. His rugged appearance and authentic demeanor made him a natural fit for character roles, particularly in westerns and action films. In 1989, Sunshine Parker landed the role of Emmett in the cult classic Roadhouse, his portrayal of the kindly and wise old farmer added depth to the film, providing a sense of authenticity and warmth. Emmett's character, who rents a barn to the protagonist, Dalton, played by Patrick Swayze, became a beloved figure among fans of the film. Following his success in Roadhouse, Parker continued to work in film and television, often cast in roles that highlighted his unique presence and ability to bring authenticity to his characters. He appeared in films like Tremors and The Blob, as well as TV shows such as Highway to Heaven and The A-Team. In his later years, Sunshine Parker continued to act, but he also focused on his passion for ranching and the outdoors. Sunshine Parker died of pneumonia on February 17, 1999, at age 71, at St. Joseph's Hospital in Burbank, California. Jeff Healy is Cody. Jeff Healy, born Norman Jeffrey Healy on March 25, 1966, in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, was a prodigious talent whose life and career were marked by both remarkable achievements and significant challenges. Healy's early life was profoundly affected by his battle with retinoblastoma, a rare form of eye cancer that left him blind by the age of one. Despite this, Healy's passion for music emerged early, and he began playing guitar at the tender age of three. Healy's unique style of playing the guitar on his lap quickly set him apart from other musicians. By the time he was a teenager, he had already formed his first band and was performing regularly. His big break came in the mid-1980s when he formed the Jeff Healy Band, which quickly gained a following in the Toronto music scene. Their debut album, See the Light, released in 1988, featured the hit single Angel Eyes and catapulted Healy to international fame. In 1989, Jeff Healy was cast as Cody in the film Roadhouse, starring alongside Patrick Swayze. Cody, the blind musician who performs at the Double Deuce Bar, was a role that allowed Healy to showcase his incredible musical talents on screen. His performances in the film, including memorable renditions of blues and rock classics, added an authentic and soulful dimension to the movie. This role not only highlighted his musical skills, but also introduced him to a broader audience. After his success in Roadhouse, Healy continued to focus on his music career. He released several more albums with the Jeff Healy Band, exploring various genres including blues, jazz, and rock. 
Healy's versatility as a musician and his ability to transcend genres earned him a dedicated fan base and critical acclaim. Healy married Krista Miller in 1992, and they had two children together. Despite his blindness, Healy was known for his adventurous spirit, often engaging in activities like flying and driving with the assistance of friends and family. His love for jazz led him to open a jazz club in Toronto, where he frequently performed and nurtured young talent. Tragically, Jeff Healy's life was cut short when he passed away on March 2, 2008, at the age of 41, after a battle with sarcoma, a rare form of cancer. Kevin Tig is Frank Tillman. Kevin Tig, born John Kevin Fishburne on August 13, 1944, in Los Angeles, California, is a versatile actor whose career has spanned over five decades. Growing up in the entertainment capital of the world, Teague was exposed to the arts from a young age. His early interest in acting led him to pursue a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree at the University of Southern California, where he worked on his craft and prepared for a career on stage and screen. Teague's foray into acting began with various television roles in the late 1960s, but his big break came in 1972 when he was cast as paramedic Roy DeSoto on the popular TV series Emergency. The show, which ran for six seasons, was a groundbreaking drama that highlighted the work of paramedics and emergency medical services. Teague's portrayal of the dedicated and compassionate DeSoto earned him widespread recognition and established him as a household name. In 1989, Kevin Teig took on the role of Frank Tillman in the cult classic film Roadhouse. Frank Tillman is the owner of the Double Deuce, a rowdy bar in need of a serious makeover. Teague's character hires Patrick Swayze's character, Dalton, to clean up the bar and restore order. Tide's performance as the beleaguered but determined bar owner added depth and nuance to the film, making Frank Tillman a memorable part of the Roadhouse ensemble. After Roadhouse, Teague continued to work steadily in both television and film. He appeared in numerous TV shows, including Murder, She Wrote, NYPD Blue, and Lost, where he played the character Anthony Cooper. His film credits include roles in What's Eating Gilbert Grape, Jade, and I Am I. Kevin Tighe married Rebecca Tighe, and they have a daughter named Jennifer. T is 80 now, but his dedication to his craft and his ability to adapt to various roles have kept him active in the industry well into his later years. John Doe as Pat McGurn. John Doe, born on June 25, 1953, in Decatur, Illinois, is a multifaceted artist best known for his work as a musician, actor, and poet. Growing up in a small town, Doe was drawn to the arts from an early age. His passion for music led him to move to Los Angeles in the late 1970s, where he co-founded the influential punk rock band X. The band quickly gained a following, and Doe's raw talent as a bassist and vocalist helped shape the punk scene in L.A. While music was his first love, John Doe's interest in acting began to flourish in the 1980s. His unique presence and charisma caught the attention of casting directors, and he soon found himself landing roles in various films and television shows. His big break in acting came when he was cast as Pat McGurn in the 1989 cult classic film Roadhouse. In the movie, Doe plays a bartender at the Double Deuce who becomes entangled in the bar's chaotic and often violent environment. After Roadhouse, Doe continued to build his acting resume with appearances in films such as Great Balls of Fire, Boogie Nights, and The Good Girl. His television credits include guest spots on popular shows like Roswell, Carnival, and Veronica Mars. In addition to his work in film and television, John Doe has remained an active and influential figure in the music industry. He has released several solo albums, exploring various genres and showcasing his songwriting skills. John Doe, now 71, has been married twice and has three children. Kathleen Wilhoyt as Carrie. Kathleen Wilhoyt, 
born on June 29, 1964, in Santa Barbara, California, is a talented actress and singer-songwriter known for her distinctive voice and versatile acting skills. Growing up in a creative environment, Will Hoyt was drawn to the performing arts from a young age. She pursued her passion by studying at the USC School of Dramatic Arts, where she worked on her craft and prepared for a career in the entertainment industry. Will Hoyt's early work included guest appearances on popular TV shows such as Family Ties and Cagney and Lacey. Her big break came when she was cast as Carrie in the 1989 action film Roadhouse. In Roadhouse, Will Hoyt played a waitress at the Double Deuce, the bar where much of the film's action takes place. Her performance added depth and authenticity to the film, showcasing her ability to bring complex characters to life. Beyond her work on Roadhouse and The Waltons, Kathleen Wilhoyt has enjoyed a diverse and successful career in both film and television. She has appeared in a wide range of projects, including ER, Gilmore Girls, and Mad About You. Her distinctive voice has also made her a sought-after voice actress with notable roles in animated series such as Pepper Ann and Family Guy. In addition to her acting career, Will Hoyt is a talented singer-songwriter. She has released several albums and contributed songs to various film and television soundtracks. Her music is characterized by its emotional depth and lyrical honesty, reflecting her personal experiences and artistic vision. Kathleen Wilhoyt, now 60, is married to actor David Hart, and the couple has two children. She has managed to balance her family life with her demanding career, maintaining a sense of privacy while continuing to engage with her fans. Travis McKenna as Jack Travis McKenna, born on January 18, 1960, in Kansas, is an actor known for his roles in both film and television. Growing up in the Midwest, McKenna developed a passion for performing arts early on. His interest in acting was nurtured through school plays and local theater productions, which eventually led him to pursue a career in Hollywood. McKenna made his debut with small parts in popular TV shows, gradually building his resume and gaining experience in the industry. His big break came when he was cast as Jack in the 1989 action film Roadhouse. In Roadhouse, McKenna played Jack, a bouncer at the Double Deuce, the bar central to the film's plot. His portrayal of Jack added a layer of camaraderie and authenticity to the movie, showcasing his ability to bring a relatable and grounded character to life. Beyond his work on Roadhouse, Travis McKenna has enjoyed a diverse and successful career in both film and television. He has appeared in a wide range of projects, including Batman Returns, Beethoven, and The People Under the Stairs. His ability to adapt to various genres and characters has made him a sought-after actor in the industry. Travis McKenna is now 64, Roger Hewlett as younger. Roger Hewlett, born on October 2, 1958, in Los Angeles, California, has carved out a diverse career in the entertainment industry. Growing up in the heart of Hollywood, Hewlett was surrounded by the glitz and glam of the film world from an early age. His fascination with acting began during his school years, where he participated in various drama clubs and local theater productions, honing his craft and developing a passion for storytelling. Hewlett's journey into professional acting started with small roles in television and film. His break came when he was cast as younger in the 1989 cult classic Roadhouse. In Roadhouse, Hewlett's character Younger was one of the bouncers at the Double Deuce, the rowdy bar at the center of the film's plot. His performance added depth to the ensemble cast, showcasing his ability to bring authenticity and nuance to his roles. Beyond his work in Roadhouse, Roger Hewlett has enjoyed a successful career in both film and television. He has appeared in numerous projects, including Hunter, The A-Team, and Knott's Landing. His ability to adapt to different genres and characters has made him a sought-after actor in the industry. 
While not much is publicly known about his family life, Hewlett's is 66 now, and his dedication to his craft and his ability to navigate the challenges of the entertainment industry are evident in his enduring success. Gary Hudson as Steve Gary Hudson, born on March 26, 1956, in Newport News, Virginia, has enjoyed a prolific career in the entertainment industry, marked by versatility and dedication. Growing up in Virginia, Hudson was drawn to the performing arts from a young age. His early life was filled with a passion for acting, which he pursued through school plays and local theater productions, laying the foundation for his future career. Hudson's journey into professional acting began in the late 1970s, with his first significant break coming in the form of various television and film roles. His rugged good looks and compelling screen presence quickly garnered attention, leading to more substantial opportunities. One of his notable early roles was in the 1989 action film Roadhouse, where he played Steve, one of the bouncers at the Double Deuce. Hudson's portrayal of Steve added depth and intensity to the film, contributing to its status as a cult classic. Beyond his work in Roadhouse, Gary Hudson has enjoyed a diverse and successful career in both film and television. He has appeared in numerous projects, including Dynasty, Airwolf, and Walker, Texas Ranger. His ability to adapt to different genres and characters has made him a sought-after actor in the industry, earning him a loyal fan base and critical acclaim. Gary Hudson, now 68, has managed to keep much of his private life out of the public eye, maintaining a sense of privacy while continuing to engage with his fans. He has balanced his personal life with his demanding career, ensuring that he remains grounded and connected to his roots.